Water bending. Here's how I did it. First, I filmed myself looking like an idiot, flailing my arms around and not water bending, and we're done. Perfect. Nah, I'm, I'm only kidding. I fired up my 3D software of choice and set my footage as a backdrop. Next, I made a teardrop shape and gave it a skeleton so I could animate it. Using a trail of objects I had already animated as a reference, I animated the teardrop, paying close attention to how much it squashed or stretched depending on its velocity. I did this until it didn't look stupid. Cool. I made the teardrop look like it's not made out of the evenly distributed inevitable heat death of the universe by making it look like water instead. Oh, and we gotta make the surface all wavy. Also, why is it called water bending? Does this mean water is bendy? Oh, yeah, also to make it look extra real, I just projected the original footage and some set photos onto some geometry so that the water would have accurate reflections and refractions. Worked pretty well. Then all I had to do was composite it on top of my original footage, and then BOOM! It's water bending. Yes! This is cool! Imagine spending six hours figuring out how to do this! Wouldn't that be lame?